dinar. Miserable is the worship of dirham and dinar. And Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said, لِكُلِّ إِنَّ لِكُلِّ أُمَّةٍ فِتْنَةٍ وَفِتْنَةٍ أُمَّةِ الْمَالِ He said to every nation there's a trial, and the trial of my nation is wealth. We have become so dedicated. Our main objective in life is wealth. That's all there is. And we have become, وَالْعِيَاذُ بِاللَّهُ Worship to this worldly life. To the dollar. That's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Al-Afu wa al-Afi. Also, a point that has to be raised that many people, as I said, they stay up during the night and they sleep during the day. And they sleep from the prescribed prayers. If a person was to come up to me and say, Abu Hamza, listen, I can't pray Taraweeh. If I was to pray Taraweeh, I'm not going to be able to get up at Fajr. I would say to him, don't pray Taraweeh, but pray Fajr. Fajr is, is one of the compulsory prayers. We have five prayers. Every Muslim that is saying, mature, it is compulsory upon you to pray these five prayers. They come before Taraweeh. They come before Witr. And before any other, other optional prayers. A man came to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he said to him, O Message of Allah, if I was to pray the prescribed prayer, and I fasted the month of Ramadan, and Jannah. A man came to the Prophet and he said, O Messenger of Allah, if I was to pray my five prayers, prescribed prayers, fast the month of Ramadan, fulfill what is halal, what is lawful, and abstain from what is unlawful, and I will not increase anymore, I'm not going to do any more than that. Will I enter Jannah? Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi said, yes, you will enter Jannah. So we need to understand the five prescribed prayers is something that you are in need for. How would it be if we were to go two, three days without food, my dear brothers and sisters? Your body is in need for nutrition. When you pray five times a day, it is nutrition to your soul. As your body is in need for nutrition, there's something called your ruh, your soul is inside. That soul is also a need for food. And Allah has given this soul five top of nutrition at five different times during the day and night. Once you don't give that nutrition, then you're going to be miserable. Wallahi al-Azim. And that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said in the Quran. Ala bi dhikrillah tatma'inlu kuloob. It is by the remembrance of Allah that your hearts will feel the sense of, uh, alhamdulillah, security. It is by the remembrance of Allah. So I pray, you are in need for prayer. As you are in need for food, for your body to maintain nutrition, also you are in need to remember Allah. And the best type of remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to pray five times a day. Also, al-israf fil mal. How many people become extravagant during this month? MashaAllah, I feel sorry for the women especially. As soon as she gets up from bed in the morning until just before Sunset, she's preparing food. Not one or two or three different dishes, mashallah, about 25. For her, how many is there? Maybe three or four in the family. This is not right. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said, indeed those who are extravagant, they are the brethren of shayateen. Satan's wal'iyadh billah. Allah is giving you this wealth, look after it. Don't be extravagant. That's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala al-afu al This is the month where you're supposed to spend time with Allah by reading the Quran. Not by, you know, ordering your wife to make so many dishes. Poor woman. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Simplify it. Simplify the dishes at that specific time during the month of Ramadan. Because the more you're going to occupy her, the less that, you know, the more likely she, she's going to not read the Quran. So make it simple. Also, some people obviously they're rushing to get home just before sunsets and they're, they're speeding. This is not recommended. Please, we are law abiding citizens, we are Muslims. The more that we practice Islam, the more that we become law abiding citizens. Is that clear? The more that we practice Islam, the more law abiding citizens we Muslims become. And the more we abstain from being obedient to our Creator, the more we are likely to commit sins. Wallahi al The more we fear Allah, the more we, we will not speed. We will not steal. We will not cheat. We will not abuse. We will not backbite. We will not slander. We will not tail carry. 
the closer we come to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the more we realize that that's something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dislikes. Also, a note that also should be taken into consideration. Some of the brothers and sisters in this month of Ramadan, and even some of them, alhamdulillah, pray their taraweeh prayer, the, light, the latest prayer. But they gather after this. And they'd sit down and backbite and slander and all these type of things. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or some of them would sit down and watch television for hours and hours and hours. This is also something that you are not supposed to be doing. This is something that you are not supposed to be doing. And there's something called now in the Arabic so-called channels, Layali Ramadan, the nights of Ramadan. What happens in the Layali of Ramadan? Is it the recitation of the Quran? No, it's the recitation of a shaitan. Music, dancing, you know, obviously different, um, you know, celebrants and people like this. The worst, a'udhu billah. It's important for us to make sure that we spend this month with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I'd recommend, especially many of us, have become so dedicated and so brainwashed with television and internet. I'd recommend during this month to abstain from it. Please, my dear brothers and sisters. During this month of Ramadan, try, especially some of the things that you're watching on te television that sometimes programs you, and you know, there's something going on sometimes, you know, men and women engaging in intimate relationship or whatever. All these type of shows and programs, try to abstain from them. Some of the things that you used to obviously surf on the internet also, I'd recommend that you keep away from. Because the majority of media at the moment, okay, the majority of what is showing on television, on, on, on the internet is harmful to us more than benefit, I can assure you. And we are all human beings. Okay, and sometimes we commit sins. Okay, so the best thing is, as long as we fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and abstain from these things, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help us. As I said, regardless of the sins that we are making, regardless of the sins that we are making, if we are sincere in this month of Ramadan, asking Allah constantly, oh Allah, give us the strength and the ability to discipline ourselves so we can abstain from whatever sins that we are making, Wallahi Azim, this month of Ramadan is a great opportunity and after it ends, you are able to last for a long, long time, inshallah. This is this month of Ramadan. Or oh, we would like to welcome this month of Ramadan. Please, my dear brothers and sisters, make sure that you spend a lot of time reading the Quran, understanding the Quran. Gather together, call family members. If you have any problem with a family member, give them a call. This is a great opportunity. Okay, Salaam Alaikum, please forgive me for what I said the other day. This is a month of gathering, a month of socializing. Come together, invite one another. Uh, uh, you know, forgive and forget for the sake of Allah. This is, what, this is what is required for us in this month of Ramadan, inshallah. May Allah protect us and preserve us and make us of those people that He good, inshallah, and fulfill it. And as I said, the Sahaba, radiallahu anhum, they used to wait for this month of Ramadan six months. They used to beg Allah that they are given this opportunity. And when it ends, they used to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for six months that he accepts the good deeds that they've done. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala together amongst the prophets and the companions, the day of judgment, inshallah, as we've gathered here. We will have a short break, inshallah, Mawla Azza wa Jal, and then we'll come back with your questions and answers. My dear brothers, may Allah reward you and protect you, my dear brothers and sisters. We will have a short break and come back, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We have a fair few questions, inshallah. We'll see how we go by answering them. The first question is, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. How come not all the shaitans are chained because there are still many people doing bad things in Ramadan? Jazakallahu khairah. First of all, we all know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created mankind and jinn. Mankind and jinn. Jinn are spirits that God has created. The jinns, they have an advantage which they can see us and we can't see them. The jinns, the bad jinns, we call them shayateen, satans. As sometimes when a, a young boy or a girl become very rude and wicked, we say, Adla shaitan. 
सिद्धान और शैतान